Hi guys. Alrighty, so I'm going to start out by apologizing again um, because I skipped a day yesterday. I was downstate for my bridal shower and by the time I got back up here, my phone cracked last night, which it still is cracked right now, and so I was having issues seeing on it and la 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 la. So today I'm going to post two videos. I'm going to day, do day 116 right now and then 117 after this. Um, so right now we're doing day 116, which is also day 38, and today we are going over Beltane, a day of spiritual love. And while there's going to be quite a bit of reading from my part to you, um, basically what today is talking about is uh, Beltane's love and how it's known as the pure love of the goddess. We talk about um, Beltane and all of its sexuality, but really Beltane is a holiday to celebrate the purest the purest kind of love that you can possibly imagine um, and that's kind of what this experience or what this uh, exercise is today is talking about pure love um, so let's see where I can start and what I can skip mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, spiritual love is an embrace of all. It's an undifferentiated love. It knows no attachments to particulars or individuals. It is just love, love of literally everything. Except Piper today, because she's driving me crazy. Um, it is the love of a tigress for her cubs, of a bee gathering nectar and pollen for honey for the hive. It is everywhere, and it runs deep in our cells. It is, it is exactly who and what we are right now beneath the layers of code learned from culture and family. So everything stripped down to the bare minimum, that is the love we are looking for. Not the love that is, um, unlike it was saying, that has been dampened by culture, by family, by friends, by society, by the internet. Just the pure love that... It's a child's love, a love that a child has for something, that wonder, that bewilderment, that's what we're looking for. So what we're going to do today is you're going to take a blank piece of paper. You're going to make three columns. Um, at the top of this first column, you're going to write family. The second column, you're going to write culture. And the third, you're going to write religion. We learn many more codes in our lives, but these are the top three that affect us most at a deep unconscious level, is family, culture, and religion. Beneath the headings, write single words or short phrases that express learned rules that have shaped your thinking, feelings, and actions. Depending on your personal experience beneath the word family, you may write words such as togetherness, exclusion, or self-sacrifice. Beneath culture, you may identify entitlement, gender roles, food choices, or whatever other codes apply to your own learned experience. If you were not raised with religion, under this heading, heading describe the lack of religious upbringing, how, how the re lack of religious upbringing may have shaped your current life story. When you're finished making your lists, select one word from each column. For the remainder of the day, be aware of how these three codes influence your thoughts, actions, and feelings. At the end of the day, you should have a very good feel for each of the three codes that you've chosen. Select colors that represent these codes and write down the color and write the colors down. Perhaps using appropriately colored crayons or markers. Now sit in your usual meditative posture and close your eyes. Use your imagination to see one of the colors swirling around you like a thick smoke. Now take a deep breath and imagine that you, as you inhale, you absorb the colored smoke. This practice may feel counterintuitive. Counter we naturally believe that it is important to reject our more limiting qualities. However, in this practice, it is important to accept our limits and accept ourselves just as we are. It is through your own metaphorical embrace of these traits that they naturally find their own resolution and thus open any blocked channels of the goddess's love, so try not to make a big deal of absorbing this energy. As you take it in, imagine that it transforms into a brilliant white light. As you exhale, imagine that you send this transformed energy around your whole body and into the world. Now sit with this for a while. 
Are you able to accept yourself right now, no matter what storyline runs through your life? Practice this meditation each day until you finish your list of codes. By becoming more fully aware and accepting what goes into the making of you, you open the direct channel of goddess love. And this is the love of and acceptance of life just as it is. So this seems like something that um, is not only going to take a couple days or possibly longer than that, depending on how many uh, code words that you write down, but um, this is going to be a very deep exercise. And like they said, it's going to be something that's going to be very strange, um, especially if you write down a word that may be a little more negative. Um, you know, like for religion, you may write um, strict, you write, may write limiting, um, you know, especially if you were grown up or brought up in a, a religion that's separate from what you are now, or like for my, for me, um, you know, I was brought up in the Catholic faith, and for me, it was confusing. It was, um, it was, it was constricting. Um, it, you know, I just, I didn't have very good, um, experiences with it. So from that standpoint, if I were to put it for my faith growing up, you know, taking those and making them into a color and absorbing them would make me feel strange. But I completely understand where the exercise is going with it and it's going to be very interesting to try it. Um, not only that, but you know, if you have wonderful experiences like with family, um, you know, and you have wonderful words that make you feel good when you write them down and make you feel good when you look at them, turning them into a color and absorbing them is going to make you feel wonderful. And then to think about that the rest of the day, especially when you're going throughout your day and you're really focusing on how family affects your life, how culture affects your life and how religion affects your life. I could just sit here thinking, I can start thinking of all the ways that they do that you really don't think about on a regular basis. So um, today's going to be an awesome day for that. I hope that you guys learn a lot about yourselves and I will see you later for the um, Beltane, the Maypole exercise. So I will see you guys later. Bye.